welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I kind of just want to answer a question for many girls out there who has asked me in the past. I've been approached multiple times now from girls who are curious, how do you become a stripper? How do you go about it? Honestly, my first thing I have to say about that is it depends where you're at. Every single province is different. Every single club, honestly, is almost different. In the same city, there could be different rules for different clubs, you know what I mean? So, first of all, I started dancing in New Brunswick. New Brunswick, Quebec, and Ontario is very similar. The way it works to work in a club, you basically just have to call and ask if you can come to the manager or usually there's somebody in charge who does the bookings because they want to make sure there's not too many girls, right? And obviously, like I said, some club have different rules, some club will only accept a certain look of girls, and, and some clubs I would not recommend working there. So before you get informed to work in a club, first of all, do your research, make sure the club is safe, maybe go there for a drink first just to check it out and feel the vibe. You might get there and just have bad vibes because I worked in a lot of clubs across Canada and uh, some clubs were not as good as others, you know? I had my bad experiences in certain clubs which I don't think I'm allowed to name them unfortunately because there is definitely clubs I wouldn't recommend you guys to go work at because um, there's basically prostitution going on inside the club. So make sure you do your research, that's all I gotta say. Especially out east, out in Alberta and BC, it works differently, but I'm gonna get there in one second. So New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, Newfoundland, you basically call the club and you ask if you can work there and you basically book yourself. Some clubs like in New Brunswick, in St. John at Blush, love that club, it was my first, well one of my first strip clubs. Um, it was my first club, I was working there regu regularly. <laughs> you know what I mean? And at Blush, you basically can just call and be like, can I work tomorrow? And she's like, yep. Yeah. And if tomorrow comes, I can just call her and be like, I don't want to come in today. As long as you let them know, they're fine with it, you know? Um, but every club is different, so make sure you do your research because some club, if you book a night of work and you don't show up, they might not let you go there after because you're kind of wasting your time, you know? I think it depends on what city and how many girls shows up to work because if you are literally taking a girl's place, they only accept 20 girls and then you don't show up, they could have had another girl and you just took someone's work, you know what I mean? And then, in New Brunswick, I know that you only take your top off and they make you wear little nipple stickers, like you know those dollar store sheet stickers, like those little star, like whatever it is, St. Patrick stickers, heart stickers for Valentine's Day, whatever they can get their hand on. We have a little sheet in the back and before you go on stage every time, you have to stick little stickers. Most of the time they end up coming off and when you're really drunk, I mean, sometimes you forget them. But honestly, they just stick in your bra. It's hard for them to stay there, you know? But yeah, so you do have to wear pasties. Um, there's also another bar, but I don't know. I never worked in many bars in New Brunswick. I really just did the one in St. John, New Brunswick, which is the one I definitely recommend um, to go work to if you guys are in New Brunswick or in the area. I really liked it. I think the owners are really nice. They treat girls very good there, pretty fair. There's one manager I had a hard time with for a couple things, but I wasn't easy to deal with back in the days, you know? I'm 27 now, so I matured a lot. Honestly, everything they say is true about the famous 25. When you turn 25 years old and you're a woman, you just become more mature. And I, I can definitely tell, like, my way of thinking now compared to two years ago is so different. Um, but anyways, let's get back to it. And in Quebec and Ontario, you get fully naked on stage. And um, some clubs have table dance, which means you do dances um, also at, at their table in front of the whole club. And uh, most clubs though, they have a private room in the back where you can go give lap dance. There's either curtains or no curtains, depending on the club. And yeah, basically out east, the way it works, you just call the club to go work and when you get there, you have to pay a certain amount of money to work. Either, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, up to probably 100 bucks. I know that some club, depending at what time you 
show up, the prices go up. If you only want to come in the busy hours, you know, and you don't want to work a small shift, you have to pay more. But if you come in early and do the early hours, you pay less, you know, stuff like that. But when you move out west, it's a totally different ball game. Honestly, I heard Winnipeg is really different also. I've never been there, unfortunately, not yet. I'm gonna try and go this year just so I can check it out for you guys because I'm really curious. I like to work everywhere and I don't know, check it out for myself, you know? Um, but Winnipeg is a little bit different because I know that they do deal with our agency, which is independent, and maybe even another one. I don't really know how it works for Winnipeg. I would have to get informed. Um, Saskatchewan, unfortunately, doesn't have strip clubs at all. I don't know why. Stripping's not legal or some like that. I don't know. Go Google it. And then um, Alberta is really nice. There's only three places that you need a city license which is Grand Prairie, Calgary, and Edmonton. For Ford Mac, I don't believe you need a license, and I don't believe you need a license in Red Deer. Um, and there's a lot of other little small gigs that I haven't really done much, like Tomahawk, Thorsby, Red Cliff, which I'm actually going this weekend. And there's a bunch of other little ones, which I kind of want to do this year, just to go check out all of the clubs in Alberta. Um, so I really want to go on a bigger tour, because I always stuck to like the main clubs, the bigger one where you kind of, in my opinion, would make more money, but is it really true? Because this week, I'm going to work in Red Cliff, and I'm going to be the only dancer, so I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. Even when I went to work in Tomahawk and Thorsby, it was just like a one-day gig, but it was really nice. I liked it. I really liked it. I made like, you know, four, no, more like 500 bucks each night, I think. Cause I made like over a grand in two days, it was good. Okay, don't even talk about that. I'm going off subject. Okay, licenses. So basically, yeah, Calgary, Edmonton, and Grand Prairie needs a license. The other places you don't, but you still need to be registered with independent artists. And basically for BC, you would have to probably get informed because I've only ever worked in BC with clubs that are affiliated with my agency, Independent Artist, from Edmonton. But I know that in Vancouver, it's like through a different agency. I don't really know how all of that works, so I can't help you guys. Ah, mosquitoes, I hate them. They're everywhere this year. Ugh. But anyways, yeah, so BC is different. I believe the agency is called Stripper, but basically just look for a stripper that you know, or you know, I'm sure you guys can inform yourself online, on Google, they pretty much have anything. I believe it's StripperNet or something like that for BC, I don't know. But yeah, so basically out west, if you want to get started, um, you need to work through an agency. And out east, it's totally independent and uh, you do it yourself. You call the club and you ask them. And I mean, I'm sure if you are around Alberta and you don't really know, you call up Shade and you say, I'd like to work there, I'm sure that they will point you to the right direction. They'll give you guys the independent artist's number. They'll help you out. So if worse come to worse, just call up a club and ask for a manager. I think all across Canada, it's honestly something you can do. If you really want to dance, um, just get a hold of a manager of a club and ask him how you can work there. And they will probably walk you through it. Because they're always happy to have new faces. New faces are always nice. I would definitely recommend to all of you guys who are thinking of possibly dancing in the future to take a couple pole class first. There's also another option that doesn't apply to out east. Everywhere in Quebec and Ontario, every single girl who shows up at the club will go on stage. Out west, certain clubs, and only certain clubs, have what you call freelancers which means they're in the club, they still try to sell lap dances and all that, but they're not going on stage. But they also don't get paid to go on stage, which I'll make another video about how strippers get paid later. <laughs> but yeah, so basically freelancers just have to sell lap dances and flirt with people, so when you're not that good with the pole yet, or you just don't feel comfortable dancing in front of a big crowd yet, um, another option is to look for a club where you can freelance. That way you can get to be around and slowly take baby steps to go work on stage. While out east, baby or not, they throw you on stage, which is good. I think that's how you learn, is to go on stage. And then the more you go on stage, the better you get. 
you know? Everything is with like practice. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably gonna be posting some pole dancing videos for you guys so you guys can learn a little bit with me, you know? Um, just learn you guys some basic tricks, so stay in tune for my videos, my new YouTube videos, because I'm gonna try to make some very soon for you guys. And I also have a couple videos where I'm teaching my girlfriends how to pole dance. So by watching those, I'm sure you could probably learn a thing or two. I am only learning my friends basic stuff because I don't want anybody to flip upside down and hurt themselves because I flipped upside down and hurt myself many times when I was learning. I think it's just normal and it, it happens, you know? You will fall once in a while, you will. You're gonna hurt yourself a little, but it's like anything, you know? Can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, make sure you like this video and comment if you have any questions. I'm sure I can help you out a little bit. And um, yeah, I'm gonna make more videos like this to try to help you guys. So if there's any other question that you guys are curious about the strip club, um, make sure to let me know because I would love to help you guys and you know make you guys feel better about certain things because stripping is not as scary as people think. Like it looks kind of like an intimidating world. All those beautiful women, you know, like the tall heels, beautiful lingerie. But it's, we're all people, you know. We're all girls trying to make a living. We're all human beings, and most of us are really nice. I mean, there is a couple girls that likes drama and all that, but it's like that everywhere, right? No matter where you work, I'm sure in high schools or in hospitals, there's also probably drama in between the people who work there, you know. We're all humans and sometimes shit happens. So don't be so scared. Dancing is a very nice job. Like I love what I do and we're, you know, pretty close and you get to meet really nice friends in the industry, but always be careful and, you know, there's also a couple downsides to dancing, but you have to try it out yourself to really see if it's for you or not, you know? But I definitely like it. 